colder. Things happen. They always have. A storm, a heat wave, a downpour. But now they happen differently. More frequent and more intense. We're changing the planet's climate. And all over the world, people are paying the price. But because it's a big world, we don't make the connections we should. When Thailand has the worst flooding in its history, only a month after Central America has the worst flooding in its history, a month after Vermont has the worst flooding in its history, in the same year that the Mississippi River has the worst flooding in its history, and Queensland in Australia, a few months after Pakistan floods so badly, 20 million people are forced from their homes. It's connected. Connected to the fact that warm air holds more water vapor than cold air. Loading the dice for deluge. And loading the dice for drought, too, since more water evaporates into the atmosphere. So it's really no surprise we've seen the worst drought in the American Southwest, and the hottest fires in Australia, and the crop withering heat in Russia, and the staggeringly dry famine across the Horn of Africa. We're going to connect the dots on climate change and extreme weather, literally. On May 5th, we will rally at hundreds of sites around the planet afflicted by climate change. We'll show the world how the pieces of this puzzle fit together. You'll forgive us if we're just the littlest bit angry. It's not fair what's happening. The fossil fuel industry, in pursuit of ever more profit, is making life impossible for many of us. We should be mad. We're hopeful too, though. Hopeful that if people begin to make the connections, they'll draw the obvious conclusion. The time has come to move away from coal, gas, and oil. And we'll only do that if we start to connect the dots. Join us on May 5th, climatedots.org.